Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis continuing our bleeding and coagulation disorder playlist. We have talked about hereditary angioedema before. Today we'll compare between hereditary angioedema and allergic angioedema, angioedema which is type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. See this guy with angioedema, swelling of the lips with the eyelids with structures in the face and the neck, they can compress those airways causing an emergency laryngeal edema is really bad for you with that being said let's get started here is a very very quick summary of hereditary angioedema autosomal dominant disease deficiency or dysfunction of c1 inhibitor leading to release of inhibition of plasma colicrin. So lots of colicrin now, leading to lots of bradykinin because colicrin converts high molecular weight kininogen into this nice, not nice, ugly bradykinin, which will lead to contraction of non-vascular smooth muscles such as your airway, increased vessel permeability causing angioedema, natriuresis pain, especially abdominal pain, vasodilation, and hypotension. Episodic attacks, they come in episodes of angioedema and pain. Sometimes there is a trigger such as dental procedures. You go to the dentist um, and several hours or like two hours later, you get those attacks of pain and angioedema. This is horrible. Sometimes there is a prodrome of sometimes tingling, could be nausea, etc. Then the symptoms. The symptoms are all of this crazy butt stuff, but there is no urticaria, meaning no rash, no itching, no pitting, because angioedema is a non-pitting edema. Why? Because it's pus. It's an exudate and not a transudate. How to diagnose hereditary angioedema? You need a family history. It doesn't have to be there, but it's possible. C1 level and function are normal. C2 and C4 are decreased because they are consumed. C1 inhibitor is decreased because this is the definition of the whole freaking thing. Bradykinin is high. This is what's causing the symptoms. Precolicrin is low because all of it has been converted into plasma colicrin. High molecular weight kininogen is low because all of it has been converted into bradykinin. Treatment. Do give C1 inhibitor by infusion. Do use Icataband, as well as a calantide. Okay, cool. Don't give steroids, antihistamine, or epinephrine. Why? Because this is a problem of bradykinin, not histamine. Cool. And don't give ACE inhibitors. They will make it worse. ACE inhibitors will inhibit the ACE, leading to lots of bradykinin, causing more of these symptoms. You'll be an idiot if you did that. The video is not over yet, but these cases can be over. Go to patreon.com forward slash medicosis and get them before they're gone. Hereditary angioedema versus allergic angioedema. Hereditary angioedema, autosomal dominant, decreased C1 inhibitor. Now there is no inhibition of colicrin. Now we have bradykinin. On the other hand, allergic angioedema, type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. We start with the antigen, B lymphocytes. Now we have IgE. The next exposure is going to be faster and stronger. Mass cell degranulation, histamine. So hereditary angioedema, the problem is with increased bradykinin. Here we have increased histamine. Big difference. Can be life-threatening by laryngeal edema. This can also be life-threatening due to hypotension. No urticaria, no itching. It has urticaria, meaning the rash, and itching. Triggered by dental procedure, stress, emotions, menstruation, etc. This is triggered by exposure to allergen. Hereditary angioedema, the IgE level is normal. Here, the IgE level could be high. Hereditary angioedema, treatment. Do not give epinephrine, antihistamines, steroids, or ACE inhibitors. Here, please give epinephrine, antihistamines, and steroids. Hereditary angioedema, you can give C1 inhibitor, icataband, and a calantide. Guys, I need your support that we can make this medical channel bigger and better. I can make more than 10 videos every week, but I need your help. Thank you for watching, thanks in advance for supporting this channel, and peace. Please subscribe, hit the bell, smash like, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, go to patreon.com forward slash medicosis to get all of my notes and cases. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.